Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I will be driving, I'm just at a red light so you guys don't worry and don't fret. But I wanted to come on here to let you know um, that Yahuwah has not forgot about you, that he will be fulfilling all of his promises, even though we see things happening around our nation. For those of you who have been obedient and have been living by faith and really trying to live a righteous and holy life and get in alignment, he will be covering you, okay? Um, a lot of things will be happening in the earth. Um, the enemy is definitely trying to fulfill his agenda. I know I've had a couple of dreams where, you know, one of the agendas in which the enemy is trying to do is to make our men more feminine, if you will, or, you know, transgender identity crisis. Um, homosexuality is the new thing, you know, and so he's trying to do everything possible to... Um, Take us away from how Yahuwah has designed us to be, all right? And I want you guys to know that that all of those things are just spiritual things. And so we need to pray against that. We need to cover our minds, all right? Our ears and our eye gates on what you're watching and what you see. Because out here, he has made everything perverted, okay? Everything is perversion, lust, okay? Um, promiscuity, um anything that's trying to just keep us in a life of sin and so i want you guys to really be watchful during this time watch what you are watching watch what you are listening to watch what your kids are listening to watch what they are watching because there's so much demonic stuff in all of these things it's ridiculous you know and all that's all the enemy needs to do is plant a seed um, okay like i swear like right now the enemy's job is to make us unholy and unrighteous as much as possible down to what we're wearing okay our kids clothes is like they have no clothes on even adults it's like they have no clothes less even the men's shorter the shorts are getting shorter okay uh the girls tops you know it's like it's hard to even find clothes that you know would really align with his will and his way of modesty okay so he is trying to bring back modesty all right and to bring us out of religion but into relationship okay by leading and living a life okay that is according to his will and also living a life like he expected us to live by the Torah, okay? Because his Torah is him, his grace, all right? So he is our living Torah, our grace, all right? So he chooses who he wants to give that favor to. And there's some people that are called as witnesses to be a witness to his life that they do have a certain type of favor in the anointing that follows them because they have to be a witness to his light. And I want you guys to stay encouraged for those of you who have been going through a lot of things and a lot of spiritual warfare. Do not give up because it's a part of the pain and the process, all right? In order to fulfill Yahuwah's will here on earth, you know? And so, of course, since you have a light that shines and that need, that people to gravitate to so that they can come closer to knowing who he is and his goodness, the enemy ramps up really, really hard against you, right? And so we have to understand that the enemy is always at work. He's not worried about the people that are lost, but Yahuwah is worried about the people that are lost, all right? And we need to be pointing people back to the way, the truth, and the life, which is Yahusha, all right? Um, please understand that he is the one that reveals all truth to us. So he's trying to even, when you read when you're reading certain scripture and stuff, he will be the one, his spirit, his Ruach HaKadosh will be what is used to help reveal what is the truth and what has been a lie, okay? Because there's a lot of lies and false doctrines and paganism mixed in with his truth, all right? And um, it's very unfortunate, you know, that some won't have eyes to see and ears to hear, all right? But I want you to know that he's not slack when he comes to his promise. I want you to know that anything that the enemy has tried to do to you, Yahoo is going to turn around and make it for your good. He will make your enemies, all right, be at peace with you. He will use your enemies to even push you to get you to where you need to be and help you without them even realizing that they're doing it, okay? Uh, please know that you should always seek him so he can tell you what type of people you should surround yourself with, all right? Because he sees their heart. I don't care what their face says and I don't care what their natural says, but you got to look at the spirit that's behind these people around you, especially in this season, all right? Um, know that he is still making ways out of no ways. Know that he is still bringing destruction here. 
um, to the earth. I don't know if I've spoken about it too much, but I wanted you guys to know that he is going to be bringing things um, by fire. All right. So you'll see a lot of, you know, buildings or different things um, like catching fire or exploding. All right. Um, another thing that he's shown me, and then it was funny because he led me to another person's word that spoke about it. So it made sense on what he was showing me. It's like we will probably see things. Um, one time he gave me a word, just a word. It was Neanderthals. Um, another word um, or a dream that he gave me was twice was like some alien lips. So I know that might sound crazy for some of you who may not understand, but we're probably going to start seeing a whole lot of things um, that we normally wouldn't have seen. Um, if you guys are following this stuff with CERN, you'll definitely understand that there's been demonic things happening with CERN and technology and science that the enemy is trying to use for his agenda. You know, all this AI stuff, um, they're mixing, um, let's say, making hybrids and um, they're making hybrids. So half animal, half human, doing a whole bunch of things that they were not supposed to do, okay? Mixing of seeds even down to our food, okay? Um, we should definitely still be uh, prepping and preparing, okay? Um, with your food and, um, you know, for your safety and um, the supplies that you need. Start gardening, watch what you eat because um, the enemy is definitely, they're putting stuff in our water and in our food, all right? And so he doesn't tell us this stuff to scare us, he tells us this stuff so that we can be prepared. Um, you guys should probably look into more of what the Nephilim is about and the fallen angels and really understanding that the Nephilim's DNA still was left behind after Yahusha, okay, had flooded the earth, all right? And it tells you that some still remain. So when you see all this demonic stuff happening in our earth and wonder where it's coming from, it's because that DNA still exists still was existing here in the earth and left behind so everything that was taught before is being retaught that's why you see us at the height of pedophilia if i said that right um you know the human trafficking all these different things right um kids and and they're doing sacrifice sacrificial um sacrifices of children um of the occult you know blood sacrifices there's all these different things that are happening that people cannot see especially from the elite and they're out here trying to do population control and a whole lot of things that is just, you know, very evil. So I need you guys to continue to pray against these things, all right? Um, cover our schools um, and, and just stay prayerful and watchful because you're going to see a lot of things shift, you know, that will be considered the new normal. All right, and you need to be able to learn how to stand and endure to the end, okay? Because it's very important that you really tap in and stay tapped in and close to Yahuwah. Because if not, it's going to be hard, it's going to get really bad out here, okay? Like it's going to look like Independence Day at some point. You understand what I'm saying? So just pay attention, be watchful. Um, I want you guys to stay encouraged that He will be with you no matter wherever you go, okay, and watch over you. And I say that in Yahusha's mighty name. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Stay blessed.